Hello, welcome to the first in a new video series. My goal is to help you learn basic practical electronics in five minute or less increments. Each video will cover one topic in an easy to understand way. The series will continue with each video building on the next. Make sure you like and subscribe not to miss these videos if you want to learn electronics in tiny, easy to understand steps. Time to get into the first topic, which is batteries and voltage. A battery is a device that stores energy. Everyone is familiar with batteries. Batteries are used in phones, computers, clocks, cars. I even have a USB stick with a battery. But what is energy and what is voltage? A dam stores energy in the form of water. The distance the water falls is the voltage. And you see the amount of energy stored in your phone, which is represented by the little icon. Energy is stored in a battery through a chemical reaction. This reaction produces an electric charge, pressure, potential, or voltage. This voltage flows with a concept called current to power your phone. We aren't ready for current yet though, so stay tuned for the next video. The more energy you have, the longer you can run a device. Energy has a unit of watt hours or WH. Often a battery pack will have MAH or AH, which is milliamp hours or amp hours. This doesn't tell you how much energy is in the battery, so don't get fooled by foolers. Ask how many watt hours. This phone is a 3000 milliamp hour or 11 watt hour of capacity. So it can deliver 11 watts for one hour or one watt for 11 hours or any combination where the power multiplied by time equals 11. Extra credit? Leave the answer in the comments and I'll go over the next video. If the phone lasts three days on standby, what is the standby power consumption? I have an instrument here called a multimeter. More on this in a future video. This can measure voltage. In this case, direct current or DC voltage. The solid and dashed line setting or DCV setting. As we can see, a AA battery measures about 1.5 volts. A 9 volt battery measures, surprise, about 9 volts. A D cell battery also measures 1.5 volts, though it is bigger. The D cell is really the same as a AA, but it stores more energy. Just as an example, a wall outlet has 0 DC voltage, but it has 120 alternating current or AC volts. The outside power lines are around tens of thousands all the way up to a million volts. The higher the voltage, the higher the pressure available to supply current to your device. The closer this number is to the rated number on the battery, the higher the stated charge. More volts doesn't mean more energy, but it can mean more power availability. Wait, power? What is that? Power is work. For now, the instantaneous result of volts and amps multiplied with a unit of watts. As you can see, this is a part of energy, the other part being time. Power is instant. Energy is over a period of time. In these first few videos, a lot of concepts are going to be introduced. It is a requirement in electronics to have a basic understanding of these concepts. Here is a dead or discharged AA battery, and the multimeter can give an indication of the battery charge state. This is tricky, since with nothing connected to light current flow, a battery can appear near full. Data sheets are how information about electrical components are presented. Every battery has a data sheet where you can get a ton of information about the battery. Data sheet reading is a great way to learn and become familiar with electronics. Octopart is a source for data sheets. Type in AA battery and look through and find some data sheets. See if you can find the concepts mentioned in this video. There's a ton of other information on the data sheet, and I bet some important information will be missing. This is part of learning though. If there isn't a mystery, then you aren't learning anything. Batteries store energy and have voltage. Voltage is a pressure that can be used to make current flow which supplies power to your devices. The amount of time that current and voltage are present for is the energy. There's a lot more to batteries and voltage, but to get started, this is as much as you need to know. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos in the series.